Oh, hey, Maurice. I hope you had a good weekend. I had a great weekend, actually. Glad to hear that. Well, let's get started. So, as we discussed last week, we need to structure this educational system in the best possible way for our students. Any ideas? Well, now that you ask, we did do some surveying. We found that majority of the students actually want lower tuition costs. And I completely agree. Lower tuition costs have them focus more on school rather than the cost. <laughs> Wait, Maurice, are you serious? If we charge thousands per student and we get, let's say, around 15,000 students to attend our school, that's roughly around $200,000, Maurice. You know how much money that is? We could get private jets, luxury trips to, I don't know, London and, and all of Europe, all the prostitutes you could imagine. Maurice, when did you lose your virginity? Uh, 22? That's our tuition. What's next? Well, since we'll be charging that much money for tuition, that would give us basically more money to, for classes, thus decreasing classroom sizes, I guess. How many students can we fit in a classroom? Uh, roughly 100 students. That's not gonna work. We have to be smart about this. By making a giant classroom with, let's say, 200 students and one teacher, we'll be saving thousands of dollars which means we'll be able to make it rain and we'll buy all the yachts we want. Bam. Happiness. Don't you want to be happy? But if you have 200 students in the class and one teacher, how are they gonna learn? That's a good point. And that's why we get good teachers. Yes! To provide the best quality education for our students, we need to invest in quality professors. Maurice, I completely agree with you. And that's why 90% of the teachers will be foreigners in which English is their third language. Done. Next point. What about textbooks? Custom editions, force them to buy at the bookstore. Parking. Limited parking, $20 per quarter. Scholarships? Five page essays. C exams. Force them to take all their final exams in the same week. How can you expect them to study all their classes in one week? It's real simple, Maurice. The more people that fail, the more money we make. We'll call it finals week. And we'll even force them to buy Scantrons. How are the students going to afford all of this stuff? You're right. Wait, I got it. We make a program where we let them go to school, but they're ours for the rest of their lives. We'll call it FAFSA. No, it's too easy. FAFSA. Mr. Uh, jean shirt guy, my friend over there, wants to do your girl in the butthole. He wants to girl. fight you, bro, for your girl. What you gonna do about it? Final, fuck that! 